This weekend, a small local organization raising money for a much bigger cause. Samuel Shelton was in Conway and checked out the second annual Paw, Paw Fest where the community was helping pay it forward to local animals in need. They were turning their dogs over. They were just literally like having to walk off and leave their beloved pet because they couldn't afford that. A cycle co-founder of the Molly's Angels Foundation, Deborah Gooding says she's ready to put to end for pet owners in a strain to cover sudden expenses. She says two years ago, Molly, the dog of her business partner, was hit by a car, leaving her both heartbroken and in debt. At that point, both of us realized emergency medical bills, how expensive they really were. She did everything to save Molly, and they did everything, and you still had those medical bills. It's what Gooding says motivated the start of this foundation, now aiming to bridge the gap between homes and animal shelters. Instead of them turning their animals over to our already overcrowded shelters, we'll pay the medical bills. The second annual Paw Fest, made up of craft vendors, is helping that mission with the common goal of helping animals in need. Partnering the event is the Humane Society of North Myrtle Beach. Executive Director Tina Hunter says. I've been in animal welfare in our community for 26 years now. And this little season that we're in right now is the toughest that I've ever faced in all of my, all of my career. Hunter tells me things like previous arrests, animal seizures, and a laundry list of others now adds to the capacity issues for shelters across the Grand Strand. She says proceeds from both raffles and purchases from community donations will go towards the foundation aiming to change that narrative. We're not able to take in more animals or we're not able to um, adopt those animals out or anything. So it really, it really backs us all up. So now we have Molly's Angels Foundation. One dog Hunter says has fallen victim to circumstance, also named as Molly, and once again is looking for a forever home. She's not a bad dog, but she's just a product of what happens when people's life get a little fuller and sh the dogs become an inconvenience. Now both organizations working alongside one another say they're striving to continue showing up, helping others. Dogs love unconditionally and whenever they lose their people, you know, it, it is extremely devastating for them. You know, it, 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 sometimes it changes their whole personalities because they've lost everything that they love. In Conway, Samuel Shelton, WMBF News.